The ongoing funeral of the former governor of Anambra State is what you are actually seeing here, who died at the age of 77 with dignitaries like H.E. Peter Obi, uh, the governor of Anambra State, the, uh, the current governor of Anambra State, Soludo, and other top dignitaries in Anambra are actually in attendance of this particular one so what you are seeing here is a highlight of the entire burial celebration enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe <laughs> After the governor, the deputy governor, the former governor of the state, who is there, Mr. Pitobi. Hey, that's yes. Back. Yes. Back. The, back. Back. the speaker, with the chief judge, the same senator, who is here in the middle. The deputy speaker, the former deputy speaker. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Go in that order to pay their last respect to this great man. He came, he saw, and he conquered. Bearing in mind, we are all passing through in this world. Me, 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 me
Casket with a Anambra State flag to tell you that he was here as the governor of Anambra State. Then laying a wreath to come with it. Yes. Thank you. And this is John to ladies and gentlemen. We will now listen to Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, CFR. Mr. Solushi, as he addresses this gathering. Mm. They are not breaking their mono. Praise the living God. Today is a very special day in the history of Anambra State. But I must ask, I know what you have in the program there is for me to speak at this hour. But given the the import of this particular occasion, I will grab the indulgence, indulgence of everyone to have a little breach of the protocol of at least the way the program has been set. Today we are laying, if you like, the first governor to govern Anambra under this republic, 1999 to date since the commencement of this fourth republic and it is quite auspicious that every governor every governor who has sat here as governor of Anambra state is given an opportunity even for one minute to say a word of goodbye to the first governor of Anambra under this dispensation i would therefore crave that and there are two Mama Anambra is here. We'll take the microphone to you to say a word or two. And then we we'll take on to Governor Peter Obi and uh, Governor Peter Obi to also say a word or two to Odera before then I wrap up. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies. Professor Soludo, Your Excellency. Yeah. Mr. Peter Obi, who I have always referred to as my wife, my boss. For what of time, please? I need to say goodbye to his Excellency, Odeba, I wouldn't say that uh, I don't really know his antecedent because during the time he was here, I wasn't all that present. But from what I heard, it's good to say that uh, he was a good churchman and he led a number of states. Actually, in the way he was able to do. So I said goodbye to him. And then also to say, all the people that are here, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Okay. Your Excellency, dear Governor, all the protocols very good and the study of that. As the beloved Uncle Don, 
God Almighty, who be pleased to call you home, grant you eternal rest in this kingdom, and grant your family and all those who want you the fortitude to bear your irreplaceable loss. God bless your family. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, um, the Deputy Governor, the um, the Speaker, and uh, the Chief Judge of the State, and uh, all our very distinguished invitees, and the family of uh, Dr. Sisi Mbadinuju, and uh, all our you know, distinguished in their number, wherever you may be. This, like I said, is a very historic moment for a number of states. This republic started in 1999, 24 years ago. Dr. Sisi Mbadinojo, Dr. Amin, came in here, this premises, as the governor of a number of states. 20 years ago, 2003, he left office. 77 years of age, he had to leave. 20 years after leaving office, it is only fitting that as a people that he devoted four good years of his life to serve. Put his life on the line, the sacrifices of his family and friends to serve, that we gather at this particular hour to say goodbye. That's the man. I mean, today is not the day for speeches, and I'm not here to make any long one. Tomorrow is the day of speeches. But I want to say we have come today to join with the family to be able to say to him, the man who told us it shall be well with our number. Today, we have come to say to him, it is well with your soul. It is well with your soul, Odera. It is well with your soul. You came, you gave our number, you are all. I don't want to reminisce on our days at the National Party of Nigeria, from where I knew him from about 1981 that I came to know him, when he was then serving the President Shagari, and he would come to Nsoka, and we will reminisce with Dr. the late Dr. Uzwa Bungwa. I knew Odera from then, even though as a student activist. And then he became governor, and I all followed in his footsteps, even though I wasn't in politics then. But I can say, boldly, without any sense of equivocation, that Odera devoted a lifetime of service, commitment to humanity, and in his own time, in spite of every attempt to, re I mean, um, to revise history, because of probably one incident, that Odera, given the resources at the, the disposal, at the time and circumstances of that time, Odera gave Anambra his all. And I must say, he prayed that it shall be well with Anambra, and the day that I want to say, it is well and getting better. basic foundations. Two days ago or three days ago, I was at Tukuyemeko University of Arian. Many people forget that it was Odera that founded the Anambra State University, now called Tukuyemeko Agumebu University. Many people also forget we go to Ekuyeme Square to have all our events, that it was Odera that actually built the Women's Square. We go to the Women Development Center, the Rakunya Women Development Center. Many forget that it is Odera that built the Women Development Center. Many forget that Odera built the roads, built all the stuff, whether it's Udoka or this and so on and so forth at that time, receiving less than a billion in federal allocations at that time and giving the turbulence of the moment. He did his best. He did his own bit. I know that because schools were on strike for a year, now everything else he did seemed to be forgotten. 
history will be kind to Odera that he led the foundation for the new Alhambra of today. He lived their life. And I would then say to you, in the Alhambra, the curtain is drawn. The curtain is drawn. The weather testifies to it. Well, when his pops arrived here, we were really under the heat of the moment. But the moment his pops came down, the weather changed. Even the heavens, even the heavens are warning that Anambra has lost a great soul. Anambra has lost a great soul. But that morning, the weather has turned it into a blessing with the rain coming down at this particular morning. It's significant. Something is happening not just here on earth, but even the heavens testify that a great soul is leaving us. And at this moment, I want to say, I want to welcome all of you. It's a three day state event. Today, he's lying in state, coming back to the place where he spent four years presiding over the affairs of Anambra, where all events of passage. As I watched his coffin coming down, I reminded us that we are all best of passage. It is the way of all mortals. And one by one, we are all going to leave. And we say, it is well with his soul. Today is the first. Tomorrow will be the day of commendation service, which will be at the International Convention Center here in Oka. And I think that begins by 11 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Oh, 10, uh, 10 o'clock. And I think that commendation service will be aired live uh, to the rest of the country to watch, uh, as the case may be. And then after that, on Friday, we will all proceed to leave for the service and the final internment, where we finally beat him forward. But to end, I want to thank all of you for coming to pay our last respects to this man of history. 77 is a very historic number. But as I reminisce, more than 40 years that I knew him, he came and lived an impactful life. It's not how long, but how well. And Odera, Ndianambra, the government and great people of Ndianambra have assembled here today to say, it is well with your soul. Thank you very much and goodbye.